TiffanyUniversityDragonsFootball.com, part of the Tiffany University Dragon Football Radio Network, and hello to our viewers on YouTube as well. Coach, we've already talked to an offensive lineman. Now let's talk to a defensive lineman. Who do we have? we got Joe College sitting here from Berrien Center, Michigan. Uh, Joe's going to be – or he is a junior for us. Um, and Joe's kind of been a staple of our defensive line uh, for the last two seasons and uh, a very good football player, demands a lot of double teams. Um, as, you know, what Dustin is to our offensive line, you know, Joe's that to our defensive line. You know, he, he helps some young guys get in place and, um, you know, helps them get lined up. And, you know, Joe's a, a very electric player. The sky is the limit for him. Uh, uh, he's worked really hard in the off season and put on probably 15, 20 pounds of muscle, and um, you know he's he's got a lot of uh, football left in front of him. His name's uh, Joe Collar from Berrien Springs High School in Berrien Center, Michigan. Joe, thanks for joining us today, bud. Thank you very much. So, uh, tell us a little bit about how your journey got you to Tiffany University. Well, uh, my high school coach Bill Bergen actually knew the former coach uh, Wolkowski. Mm -hmm. And uh, he got me to here. I was looking at Grand Valley, all the other D2s, and I, I just really wasn't impressed. They were they were kind of uh, arrogant almost. Okay. And I didn't want to go there. I wanted to be. I wanted to go to a place that really was an underdog, and I wanted to work somewhere, and I wanted to prove, and I wanted to be that leader, and uh, almost improve that program. I came here, and I uh, had a chance to play. Did okay. And then uh, Coach Goff came in. Uh, thought about leaving, but he. He was really the most electric coach I've ever seen. He, he demanded more out of us, and uh, that, that's when I wanted a high coach. Well, you, the difference since Coach Goff's got here compared to the previous regime. Completely different. Exactly. Completely I mean, it's, different. it's night and day different, isn't it? It is. And it how is. was it as, as a player? Uh, he brought in, uh, he brought in um, Seth Durr, and he, he's, he's been the most influential coach I've ever had. He uh, demands more out of us just like uh, Coach Goff does, and it's, it's work every day. If you're not if you're not coming to work, then don't practice at all. Wow. And he demands that of every day. Well, coach, you got a uh, young man uh, singing some high praises. Yeah, well, go, yeah, well, he asked you right now, right? <laughs> yeah, Sitting right next to, to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you know. We've got a good program we're, we're trying to build here, mm -hmm. you know, and, and we've got great young men that are still in the program. I really feel like that, you know, we weeded out the guys that didn't want to be here and, and that don't think that Tiffin's a special place. Um, you know, we had Ortiz on the show last week who kind of said the same thing because, you know, I wanted to come here because I wanted to, to make a difference, yeah. you know, and that's why I chose Tiffin over some of the other schools in the conference. Um, and, and you know, what Joe said there is, is you know, is, is true. We, we want these guys. The sky's the limit for a lot of them. Um, you know, college football is not for everybody, you know. And in order to play college football, it, it's a year-round job, but it, it's a job that you've got to have a passion for, and, and it's a sport that you've got to love playing. And, and if not, then, you know, maybe you should do something else. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think that our guys do come to work, you know, every day, and um, – we try to make work fun, you know, and, and we, we uh, you know, we, we, we love our guys with the same intensity that we discipline them with, you know, and, yeah. um, you know, we, we understand that, you know, what it's like to be a college football player and some of the challenges, but at the same time, we all understand what it takes to be on a very successful program, and that's hard work and determination, and, uh, you know, Joe's a, a great example of that. Joe, I might be, you know, underestimating when I say this, but I, I'm pretty sure Joe gained a good 15, 20 pounds in the off season. Um, I mean, he really transformed his body, and, you know, he, he can be a player at the next level if he puts his mind to it. Sounds like you're one of those guys Joe really likes that hard work. I do, and uh, Coach Eisen, he he, may almost, he almost made it fun in the off season. You know, he, he set our goal. almost, almost, almost. Well, almost. <laughs> a lot of people look at the weight room; they look at that as fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. almost yeah. fun. That's a big step, right? You know, if it's fun, you're going to get more out of it. I would think. Exactly, and uh, we we expanded our weight room, which made it a lot better. You know, we could uh, our squat racks and stuff. We could almost uh, base it off ourselves and our records and everything. And he wanted to set our goals high. And that's what he did during the offseason. We and uh, Coach Goff allowed him to get protein and everything. We got, we had that all set up just like a D1 program, and uh, that's almost as we took it as. And if you're gonna if you're gonna work hard, you're gonna work hard and set your goals high. Well, I think the uh, and Joe will agree. I think the guys that that stayed. You know, we had uh, over 50 guys that stayed all summer. Those 50 guys. I mean, from a year ago, they look totally different. I mean, you, you couldn't even tell it's the same person because their body's just changed. And, you know, that's, you know, we talk about the GLIAC being a great conference, and it, it is the best conference in Division II football. Well, that's why it's hard for true freshmen to play in this conference because they're not as big, strong, and as fast as these guys that have locked themselves in the weight room. So I feel like we've come a long way in that, that area, but we've still got a long ways to go.
And um, Joe, uh, Coach referenced uh, freshmen struggling in the uh, you know struggling at this level. You have a lot of freshmen playing on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball. There's got to be some of those kids that you've really seen uh, grow up and mature quite a bit and uh, become a, a success so far in their young early careers for the Dragons. We have, and especially on the defensive side of the ball, Willis. He's our starting strong safety. Had a good game last week. Really good game. Twelve tackles, uh, interception. Really good game. And uh, even on the D line, Bill McKegg. He's really come in yeah. and improved himself. Mm -hmm. Good. So you know, you give him one summer in the weight room, he's going to be an amazing player. Well, we've already we've talked about Kyle Finch before on the show. There's That's another it. young man who That's flies it. around the field. Yeah. Sometimes when those big offensive linemen get their hands on him, he can't do anything with it. Yeah. But you know, nine times out of ten, he's flying around making plays everywhere. Well, like you said, coach, he's about your size, right? He now. really is, and he's playing at the linebacker right. position. I mean, he's a kid that you you, know, you see every day in practice, Joe. You get some uh, muscle on that kid, and uh, you know, build him up a little bit. He's the sky's the limit for him as well. They do. Uh, when we when we play other people, they try to make fun of him, but I, I come right back at him. You he said, "Hey, you decided TFL on you, right? What yeah. are you going to do?" Uh -huh. So he he's a real He's a really good player, and uh, even even during camp, I, I pointed him out. I'm like, "Who's this kid, coach? Who's this kid?" You know, that's that's Kyle Finch. He's he's come to play, and he really he really made an impact in camp. So he's a really good player. And, and let's back up a little bit here, Russ. You know, I, what are you talking about? I'm a pretty big and strong guy myself. <laughs> well, I mean, that's because you my got Joe, size. That's because you got Joe seat lowered in your seat. <laughs> Joe's right? sitting on the floor right here. My chair's <laughs> jacked up. <laughs> Not that you're a small guy. Kyle Finch isn't a small kid, but when, it, but when you got guys like Joe, like Joe and Dustin sitting over here, yeah, Kyle, definitely. it looks like a smaller guy. Right? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk a little bit about uh, you know the young offensive line. You work against those guys in practice. Dustin and some. Dustin's a sophomore. Got some freshmen over there too. You've really seen those kids improve a lot as well. They really have. And uh, one of our senior offensive linemen went down, and uh, Marcello stepped up right away. And uh, that was that was one thing that was really encouraging. And uh, Max on the left tackle line when Gage went down, they stepped up right away. And it's it's really something to see you know them grow gradually every game and get better. And uh, especially during camp and uh, across practice, you know, you, you beat them all the time, and now you're you're going head to head. Mm -hmm. So they're really getting better. Yeah, it, it can't be a whole lot of fun going up against uh, Max at no. six six three fifty. No. No. <laughs> real big, real big. Imagine one summer with him. That's it's he's only going to get the better. Absolutely. Sky's the limit with him. What's your strength on the football field in your eyes? Uh, just once again, just be a team player. You know, you ha you have your assignment and just do it. That's Seth there does that. And, you know, you do your one eleven. And uh, what that means is you do your job. And uh, Dusty pointed it out, you know, everyone has to do their job, and that's what it is. So, do you got that mean streak? They say most defensive linemen, they need that mean streak. <laughs> I, I, I look at you, I, I bet you got it. <laughs> we, we do, especially uh, ODU. So, that's, that's my rival. Is it? Yeah, it's my rival. What, so. what is it about them that, that does that to you? Uh, well, last year there was, a, there was a little bit of a circumstance sure. with, with, <laughs> with point raising, you know, and, and Coach said he was a little upset with that. And I, we really came in there to prove a point that we're, we're not going to lay down for anyone, mm -hmm. no matter who you are. Mm -hmm. And uh, so people, people kind of put the brag on Tiffin saying, oh, it, we're playing Tiffin this week. We don't have to get ready for Tiffin. No, that's, that's not how it is anymore. Teams look at the film from this past week and look at the effort you guys put on the field this exactly. past week. They better get ready because, like I told Coach, you put the effort you guys had this past week on a couple of these games earlier in the year, you got a couple more wins under your belt. We yeah. Do. Yeah, and, and, and you know, it's, it's – it's those growing pains. Yeah, you know, it really is those it. growing pains. But, you know, our guys really, I mean, you know, considering the injuries and considering, you know, you know only two wins right now, they really have showed up every day at practice and, and overall with a great attitude and ready to go back to work. And, uh, you know, there's, there's no quitting us. We're not, we're not going to allow that. And, um, you know, we're, we're winners. We're, it's not proven, you know, it's, the record might not be showing that right now, but I'm telling you right now, we, we got a team full of winners and, and the wins are going to come. Well, that speaks volumes, I think, about the character of the kids. I mean, we talk all the time, Coach, about how it was, it was high character. High character is what you wanted to bring in. And the uh, kids still working hard. I mean, the record's not showing it in W's on the, on the board, but the fact that they're still working hard and still putting in the effort just talks about the Well, I, I think they, they believe in both systems. Offensively and defensively. I mean, I really think we got two great systems, and, and the the players believe in those. And you know, they're they know the wins are there. They know the wins are coming. You know, we just got to continue to work hard. We we got to grow up and mature a little bit, and that takes time. You know, uh, unfortunately, football's not like a uh, basketball where you can go and sign a LeBron James, and then boom, you're well, you're winning. A huge difference. Like you know, that. I mean, uh, and when we recruit the guys, you know, we we tell them, hey. Yes, we want you because we think you're a great football player, but you got to understand to play for us, you got to be able to check your ego in at the door, and, and the team is the bigger picture. I'm not interested in you're, you're upset because 
you only played 20 snaps as a DB or you're upset because you only got three catches as a receiver. Yeah, we're interested in team wins. Absolutely. You know? Yeah, bring that to me when we're 10-0. Right. Exactly. So, Joe, when you finish out your junior year here and you got your senior year left, what's the thing you think you need to improve on the most as you uh, finish up your career with the Dragons? Well, just being faster off the line. That's something uh, Coach Eisen really stresses in the weight room, you know, your, your quick twitch. And we, we do practice that in the weight room with our squats and our hand cleans and stuff, and that's something I really need to improve on, I think. All right, Coach, anything else for him? No, um, you know, we're, we're excited to have him. You know, he's definitely a force on that defensive line for us. Um, you know, we got to get some other guys on that defensive line as big as Joe, and that way we can uh, take some of the pressure off him, and he's not getting double teamed all day long. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll get that done with some recruitment. But, you know, I think we do have some young defensive linemen, too, that are going to grow into that position with a Bill McKeg and some of those guys. Sure. That they're they're going to be really good players for us. But um, he, he's fun to be around. You know, we, we give him a hard time. He gives us a hard time back and forth. He's a lot of fun to coach. He's very coachable. Um, you know, he stepped into the role being our long snapper, I guess, the last three weeks now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, so that's something know, you must have had experience with in high school and everything yeah. before you got here. Yes, You've done, doing a good job. He's done a great job. Yeah. You know, and, and I give him a hard time. It's funny. You know, at the beginning of practice, you know, you usually got the kickers, punters over there. You know, they're doing their funny stretches and swinging their legs. And you look up, and there's Joe over there hanging out with him for like the first 15 minutes of practice. And, you know, he'll kind of comb his hair back and stretch his leg and snap a few. Then he talks for about three minutes. And, you know, so I give him a hard time. Joe, wait a minute. Now, you're not, you're not a specialist. You're a D lineman. Get back over there to yeah. Coach Durr right now. <laughs> Well, Joe, uh, you know, congratulations on your success. Two-time Ogliac player for the Tiffany University Dragons. Having a very successful junior year. Best of luck to you in your senior year. And uh, uh, pleasure having you as a Dragon. And uh, thank you so much for joining us tonight on the Gary Goff Show. Thank you so much. All right, we'll be back after this. That was uh, Joe Collar, junior defensive lineman out of Berrien Springs High School, Berrien Center, Michigan, on the Gary Goff Show. And we'll uh, take this commercial break and come back with the conclusion of the Gary Goff Show on WTTF, Cool FM 93.3, and WTTF.com. All part of the Tiffany University Dragon Football Radio Network.